Yes, although there has been a little uptick in the last few weeks, we're still at historically low levels where you can get a 30 year zero point mortgage for three and a quarter percent, which while up a little is still historically low. And if you can afford the payment on a 15 year, you're down at, at two and a half percent. So still historically low, just That's not awesome. quite the lowest ever. What's up guys, Michael Anthony Saints, Claire, your favorite loan advisor here in the beautiful Orlando area. And today I wanna to give you three different reasons why you should be looking to refinancing inside of 2021. So let's get started. My favorite reason why anybody should be looking into refinancing in 2021, especially with where the market is at right now, is leveraging your wealth. We all understand that a mortgage is debt and the name of the game is to get out of that mortgage debt. But what about the other debts that you may have or potentially may be wanting to involve yourself in, such as personal loans or maybe auto loans or maybe even credit cards? What are these debts doing for you in the grand scheme of things? Are, are these all tax deductible? Are these other debts accruing interest or at least appreciating to where you could borrow off of them more? And if the answer is no to any of those, then we would consider those to be doodahs. So in this market where rates are you know, relatively low and programs are more uh, lax, if you will, we'll touch more on that in a little bit, this is the perfect time to take advantage of cheap money, if you will, cheap mortgage rates. Consolidate some of those debts that you may have or ultimately paying them off altogether is gonna help you leverage your wealth, leverage your debt, and put you in a better place in the future. Now, my second favorite reason why anybody should be looking into refinancing inside 2021, it's cash flow. Who doesn't like cash? Don't answer that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, cash flow is really where a lot of us are at. Homeowners and maybe even people that are looking into uh, purchasing for the first time, they're looking to find ways to have more cash flow. And ultimately, refinancing is going to create that type of environment for you. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say yeah, you have an existing mortgage at a 30 year note and it's at a 4% and you decide to refinance in today's market where rates are relatively 3%, 3.125, in some cases 2.7. Now that monthly savings may not be a huge number. Let's say you save about 150 bucks per month and you know, to, to most people that's like, oh, that's, that's not a lot of savings or I, I get the what about my closing costs? Is it gonna make any sense for me to refinance with all my closing costs? And here's, here's what I mean by this, folks, is that increased cash flow allows you to write your own term. So instead of maybe sticking to a 30-year note and you're spending $2,000 per month, your new monthly mortgage payment is $1,800 per month, you could take that $200 savings and apply it right back towards your mortgage, which is $200 in principal per month, and essentially you're writing yourself your own 23, 24, 25 year term, depending on how frequent, frequent that you put uh, monies towards principal. The name of the game for that, as far as cash flow, is you're not changing a beat of how much you're spending per month. However, you're reallocating those funds to lead back up to number one, leverage your wealth. And my third reason why anybody would wanna look into refinancing inside of the year of 2021, it's rates. Ah, it's a given, but it's not my number one reason. Here's the reason why folks is because rates can't be the main motivator behind refinancing your mortgage. Yes, it is one of the net tangible benefits that are out there, but look at the grand scheme of everything that's involved. Are you going to be attached to this home for the rest of your life? Or is this home, you know, maybe a, a, a stepping stone before you get to the move up or move down? Children moving out, maybe there's more children, who knows? So if, if that is a question mark in your family, in your future, then, you know, looking at refinancing may not be the best option for you. Simply because the costs that are associated with it, the by the time you recover that cost, and plus paying costs again if you sell your home, that's where you really gotta weigh your options as far as does this make sense for me and my family? That's why I was mentioning interest rate can't be the main motivator behind the whole purpose of refinancing. Now, I'll couple with that, I mentioned that some programs is gonna be one of the reasons why people look into refinancing. And what I mean by that is uh, there's a program called a, a HELOC, right? A piggyback HELOC. So essentially you have a first mortgage and then you're creating a second mortgage, which is a HELOC known as a home equity line of credits uh, right behind that first. So it's a piggyback, bing, bing, bing. And so uh, that program went away for a little while. Uh, when co, well, you know who, can't say that. We do not speak. 
speak his name. Uh, but when You Know Who hit us about a year ago, some of those programs went away, which kind of created a, a little bit of a pinch for individuals who wanted to tap into the equity of their home without doing a full-blown refinance on their first. So now the fact that those programs are back, they're more lax, again, there's availability as far as money is cheap in the market, this is a beautiful time to take advantage of that type of uh, uh, refinance, or at least that strategy. And again, this is all tied to where you're gonna be with this home, because if you plan on moving in the next two, three years, then no, a home equity line of credit strategy doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But if you are looking into keeping the home, retaining the home for five plus years, then yeah, it would make perfect sense. A tool that you can actually tap into the equity of your home without ever having to do a constant refinance all the time. Uh, if you guys want to know more information about how homemaker line of credits work in relationship to a refinance and or a purchase just leave the comments down below i want to give you guys as much information as possible this way you can make informed decisions and help you get to a better place uh, outside of that i appreciate you guys watching for this long if you got any value please leave me a thumbs up it truly helps the channel altogether. And again, if you have any questions about mortgage scenarios or things that are related to the three reasons that I mentioned before, leave it in the comment section. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye now.